Hi, this is Teresa Floret, a.k.a. Tweet Tweets Art. That's T-W-E-E-T, T-W-E-E-T-S, A-R-T. That's me. So, mm -hmm. Ooh, I can't wait to get my other set of teeth. The bridge the gap. <laughs> get this one out. I know I talk about it all the time. I just want to let you know just in case you're thinking, what happened? What happened? Well, the tooth came out according to the dream the Lord gave me. And um <laughs> then he said I was gonna take it out. And the next thing I knew, I woke up and the next morning I took it out. I could have uh not had a dream, but it was interesting that the Lord gave me such a dream. He didn't let me know what day I was going to take it out, so I took it out that day. Now, he said this also, the bottom one was going to come out, but uh, it's not as easy as the other one was. So, but it's going to come out because, see this, I'm going with the dream. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to say, hey, there's a dream, let me, let me do it. No. I don't care if a dentist does it. Well, actually, I do. I don't like dentists. Um, I don't know. I mean, dentists themselves are probably pretty nice people. I just don't like nobody putting their hand in my mouth. You know, think about it. Got your hand all in somebody's mouth. Lord have mercy. <laughs> anyway, so. I said I was going to show you my outfit that I have on. It is so cute. Okay, I have a black jacket on because it's so cold in Danny's. There's a few restaurants it's always cold in. Denny's is one. Um, Subway. Depends on what city you go to. Subway is always freezing. Ice cold in Chicago. <laughs> in Illinois, at least. Um, and there's a couple other ones. Uh, the buses. Depends on whose bus you go, you're on. Can be ridiculously cold, especially in Minneapolis and Dallas. Okay, so yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna show you my little outfit. <laughs> now it might look like I'm chubby because of the style of skirt it is. It's a it's, it's a little tiny waist and a and a wide spread. I wanted one of those skirts. I finally got one where it, it fit in my waist. If I don't watch out. It's not going to because I had that little delicious ice cream. I'm gonna get my little cute make my lipstick on. I, the perfect lipstick. It's like um, it almost matches the color of my lip. Something like that, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I like red. I love red. I got this. Let me show you my outfit fit before this camera cuts off. Okay, hold on. My light is on. That crazy look, little light. I don't like it. I think I'm gonna have to get a ring light. That's probably what. That's probably why they put it on there so you could be encouraged to get a ring light. I don't like ring lights because I think it's you know. I mean, it's just a light. The, the camera had a beautiful light on it until the camera broke. So this is a new camera. Anyway, here we go. Let me show you. I don't know if you can see it or not. This is my little jacket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my jacket. And uh, that's my skirt. Let me take the jacket off. Just like a little definition back there. Okay, take the jacket off. Put it right here for a minute. Put it on the back of the chair here. Okay, now I have on this little, call it the shingalings. <laughs> yeah. And so it's cute. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to take this little piece off. Look at the skirt. Look at the skirt. Oh, I have a, I have a, like a black slip under. Anyway, so look at the skirt. Okay, look at this. So I'm going to take this off. Ideally, it would be nice to have a black shirt under this um the way it should be it, it should be a black shirt 
but well, you know what I'm now this one okay things are kind of popped out a little bit 3d-ish because of the type of undergarment I have on which I love it actually but it's popping out a little bit too much but at the same time it's it's got a lot of cushion on it you know what I'm saying Anyway, so I got the little lace going on there. The skirt, like I said, it comes out wide. It's a wide skirt. I got my little stomach here. Let me try to pull everything down so it can be proper and tight. I'm going to move out a little bit so you can see. I don't know if you can see it. I'm trying to move my camera down a little bit. Let me set it up a little bit better. Okay, let's see. Try it again. <laughs> I like this skirt. I like it. Okay, now, it appears. See, there's that little tiny waist I've been working on. It's a stomach. It's a tiny stomach now. The stomach is tiny compared to, bam, where it last year was like, whoo, I'm here. All the way up to here. Now I still got a little stomach on the side here, but now this little small part is what's ruling the situation. Mm, that's I can work that off, you know. Doctor said I had like a little hernia on the stomach, but I say I'm healed in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm healed. That's what I say. Now what you say, doctor? I, I believe the report of the Lord I'm healed in Jesus in the name of Jesus yeah yeah anyway so this is stunning so if I took this and put it up like this you can see what I'm talking about how cute the skirt is and yeah, maybe I, hold on one second compliments is better. Yeah, I'm going to compliment it a little bit better. Um, see what I can come up with quickly. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. I have to hold on to it to make sure it, because it's not a blouse, blouse, but it does match nicely. You'll see. Okay, give me a second. Here I come. Hold on. I'm going to come out there too early. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let me let me go in the mirror before I come to you. Let me go to the mirror. I'll make sure I'm looking proper here. Give me a second. Okay. Oh, hurry up. It's not what I was looking for, but we can do it. Okay, okay. I'm going to close up like this. Hmm. Not, the, not what I was attempting. But here we go. Okay. We gotta hide this bro. Okay. Okay, here we go. Now, this is not what I was attempting. It's coming down already. But this is what I can do to show you the cute effect of this dress, of this of this uh thing. I had to double it. This is a very um, transparent type of a vest. It is a vest. So I had to hook one piece here and hook one piece there. It's a, it's a neck area. Here's the blouse in the back. Here's the thing in the back. See? See how God, God is good. God bless you. Let me see. I, I'm trying my best. So I don't, well, let's see. I'm trying to show you the waist. The whole point of this, what I'm trying to do here, is to show you the waist. Okay. Let's see what we come up with. Let's put this right here. Okay. Something like that. Something like that. So you see the waist? That's what, whoop, that's what I'm talking about. You can't really tell. But anyway, I walk. Okay, let me walk back again. 
this is the effect I was looking for when I saw this skirt, which actually was a, uh, well, went to my little Goodwill spot. I saw this with a brand new tag on it, brand spanking new. And I said to myself, I gotta have it because it was only like, what, $4.99 or something like that? Three ninety nine, something like that. It was something weird like that, some, some price like that. Let's see if I can get another view. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can. It's, it's difficult to see in this type of light. I'm, I'm used to having brighter lights or something similar. And I'm just not, not getting that type of effect over here. That's okay. It's okay. Let's see if I come up in here. Put it right here and see what happens. Yeah. Yeah, so this is the way. Yeah, that's better. It looks like I'm huge, but it's the effect of the skirt. And if you match it with the shoes I have. So, so here's the, there's the skirt. I'm going to show you. There's the skirt. Okay, and there's the shoes. And the fingernail polish on the uh, fingernail polish. I hope you can see it. I don't know. Just a cute little combination with the purse. This purse right here, which I love this purse because I bought this. No, it was given to me a few, a couple of days after I got the, a cup, two days after I bought the purse, shoes. Um, and so, too cute. So anyway, <sighs> yeah, this is not the effect I'm trying to show you. The whole point was uh, that I was trying to show you was the uh, skirt. It is adorable. I don't know. Some, you know, some things you just don't want to ever give away. <laughs> this is one of those skirts. Look at, look, 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 look at this. Look how cute. Look. Look, I don't know if you can see them together. How cute is that? How cute is that? Yeah. Yeah, I lost, uh, it. I can honestly say, I don't know if I lost weight. I know for sure my arms are thinner. See, look at that. Look at the arms. Remember how big they were? Yeah. I'm liking it, I'm liking it. I, I learned something about me. It don't take long for me to lose weight if I just do something. If I don't do anything and sit there discouraged, get nothing is done, and also um, no weight. Nothing gets you know twisted, molded, and you know body when you you know body gets all hot and everything. You can twist and mold things, you know your skin, you know because you exercise. When you don't do do, do anything, get nothing done. So I won't let that happen again. Those, I mean, do something. Today I did some extremely great exercises. Yesterday was even better. You know, yesterday I was working on the legs. Today I was working on the back and the uh, the arms. And tomorrow, and every day I'm working on the stomach, <laughs> but not the way I should. I got to get on that. And uh, work on that uh, stomach the way I should. Is that a pimple over there? Oh. Anyway. So, um, I just wanted to show you that. It's just to see how God is really, um, you know, just really caring about his people. You know, you go through a lot of things, Yeah. I don't know if I ever told you this. I'll tell you right now. I'll tell you. If I didn't tell you before or you didn't hear it before, I'll tell you. I'll tell you this right now. Yeah, people do go through homelessness. Yes, I'm one of them. I've been there, done that, doing it right now. <laughs> but you know what? Guess who's taking care of me? So I can't call myself homeless. I'm, I'm on transition. I'm transitioning. Yeah. And, and I one thing I... I I don't agree with that if you are able, whether it's financially or just for the fact that you might get some decent clothes, 
If you're able to look your best, look your best. Look your best. Whether if it means going to the goodwill, go. You know, if it means uh, you go to the store, go to the place where they give them away free clothes, go, go see what they got. You might find something. I find many, many times I find things I like when they give the, uh, when you go find some clothes that uh, cost nothing. Yeah. You know, but when you are um, in a situation where you, you know, you're, you're and depending on the Lord, and I, I'm, I'm letting the Lord lead me and guide me and, and help me help me through, um, you know, from day to day, then I know for sure I don't want to carry too much. But I know one thing: what I get, mm, that's cute. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't agree with, you know. You know, if, if you can. You know, the poor instance in Minneapolis, I mean, shoot. People were asking me, do you work here? Do you work here? I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm one of you all. You know, because you know, when you go through homelessness, you know, what do you say? So, you know, I was just blessed to know that, you know, I'm like, yeah, I was going through it, still going through it, but I don't have to look like if I don't have to. I just don't want to. If I have opportunities to look my best, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm doing. I've been doing that for a couple of years now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I had that beautiful apartment last year, and uh, I have to be obedient to the Lord, I must say. Uh, when I hear the voice of the Lord, and some of you all may not have ever heard the voice of the Lord, some of y'all may have. The ones who have never heard the voice of the Lord, I'm sorry, you need to hear the voice of the Lord. You need to ask the Lord, hey, if you're speaking, I want to hear you, you know. But if, if you know, you know, pray and ask God, Lord, um, first of all, come into my heart, be my Lord and Savior, live your life in me and through me. This day, I will belong to you. If you're listening to me, God. Let me know you're real. I want to be yours. You know, that's a prayer. But if you don't say that prayer, you don't really mean it. If you say that prayer, you're just joking or you're just like, okay, well, God's not into all that. He wants to know if you really love him. Can't see him. But can you love somebody you don't see? Mm-hmm. Trust me. I love God so much. At this time, that's the only one I really and truly love, you know. And then, and then anybody else he puts in my thoughts and my mind and my heart to love, I do, very, very, very much. And I'll pray for people he's asked me to pray for, including my family, including the family of others. Whoever the Lord puts in my heart, and He has put at least one person in my heart to pray for, you know, besides my family. And that's a special someone who I need to pray for all the time. Then there's others who I know for sure they need a little prayer too. And you know, and you know, I can only do so much. You got you got to do things on your own. I can I can pray for you so much, but you got to pray for yourself, and you got to ask God into your heart and say, Lord, I I I really do believe you. Really, we are believers. We believe that God is real. We believe that God will help us. We believe that God loves us. We believe God. Jesus died on the cross for our sins. We believe all this. And God's like, okay, cool. Let's get started. This has been a journey. <laughs> you know, I, I got saved too in uh, 1998, March. I think about March the 4th or something like that. Before I got married. Four months before I got married, you know. I got married June the, June the 18th, I think it was. June the 18th. Yeah. And after that, it was a big old journey. Oh my goodness! And after that, it was like, okay, husband went on to be as the Lord, uh, two thousand twenty-one. Then it was like, okay, it's me and the Lord. Now I understand a lot, lot more. You know why that happened the way it did. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna say good night. 
I love you very much. I said I love you very much. You heard me. I love you very much. And the reason why I say it like that, because you probably think, well, she don't love me. Well, trust me. I'm praying for you. I pray for everybody who watched this show right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Everybody watching this video. And for those who never watched the video, I pray for them too. Yeah, I said it. And I mean it. But I especially pray for the one person the Lord put in my heart to pray for. And then um, then I pray for the family, my family, and that person's family.